This week on Clown College. Yeah, I don't. I would want to be. I would want to see you on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, but mm. see, some of those questions, I'm just. I just, know that's why I would want to see probably, you yeah, on. There. I'll be out in like the first one. You know, I'm, I'm like, oh, I got this. You wouldn't oh, be the only God. dude to cash out at like five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you get the first question right, you're like, I'm done. Yeah. Contractually, you cannot make me keep going. <laughs> I was like, you just counted out in twenty. <laughs> This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Let's crack open this nice champagne of beer right here. Yeah, dude, make sure you don't spill it. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. (laughs) Destroying the fucking set before we even get started, man. Accidents happen. You know how these cherry seven up zero sugars just get you rowdy. They do. Start knocking shit over. They do rowdy you up. Forty. <laughs> great forty. This motherfucker's like, oh, you didn't know about this grape forty? Are you? Is it? Am I saying it right? Grape. What are you saying? Red it? forty. Red 40. Grape is not a color. But who just knows this this information? I didn't know the shit. Good either. citizens, people that perform <laughs> their civic duties. And you guys just aren't woke to like big soda, well, dude. <laughs> big soda is trying to fuck you up. What's what's red forty? It's the dye they use to make things red. So like mm. like a red Skittle would okay. have the fucking red forty dye. This cherry seven up has red forty. And I think it gives you like ADHD. It fucks with your brain or something. Damn. I don't know. Brandon, something you had like a lot of red dye. Yes, I did. I had a lot of red dye. <laughs> and then uh remember you talking about something early about some receipts or something? Yeah, the receipt paper. I, now, this one might not be true. This might just be my <laughs> algorithm, and I'm spreading misinformation. You know what? Fu- no, I'm not, dude. I'm a scientist. <laughs> this is real. Receipt paper is supposed to be, like, really bad for you. Uh-huh. I think something goes, like, secretes out of it. It perforates your skin, and then you, like, lose IQ. Yeah, they're trying to kill us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to kill us, people. <laughs> and I touch receipts all day long at work, dude, so I'm yeah. fucked. <laughs> and I've been at a grocery store since I was 14, so you know that explains a fucking lot. <laughs> Suing y'all. <laughs> uh, shit. So, how was you guys? Well, we we haven't talked since uh, Christmas or New Year. Oh wow. Yeah, because uh-huh. we had to record uh, yeah. beforehand. Uh, we're not gonna do too much of the holiday shit because you know everybody's tired of it. Yeah, we're over yeah. it. Yeah, Hell yeah, man. My Christmas was pretty awesome though, dude. What'd you do? Went and watched Godzilla. Played with my nephew's RC cards. Dude. <laughs> I'm on the spectrum, hundred <laughs> percent. But I'm having fun. Welcome to the club. <laughs> It's making its way this yep. way. Mm-hmm. You're next. The Brandon effect, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What'd you do, Brandon? Man, I had a great time. I got a, I'm going to say it. I almost got drunk for the first time, but Brandon failed at that. How'd you fail? Well, because uh, I was doing that at the wrong time. It was, <clears throat> it was like some middle-aged white woman with me. We were all experiencing it for the first time. What? And it was uh, her first time? Yeah. It was all of our first time. We were all so giddy about it. Like, oh, my gosh, Brandon, go take this Miller. And I was like, oh, shit, watch this. And yeah, that this. was. Who's the middle aged white lady? Oh, it was a lot of them, man. They were all, we were Where all were you at? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's what's the scenario? I was at a, a, a party with my uh, girl. It oh, was okay. A, yeah, it was a New Year's Eve party. Okay, we okay. We were all okay. so excited. We, we don't really drink. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying now. I see what you're saying. Yeah, the only thing I got was a fucked up stomach, man. Because it, apparently you're not supposed to do different things at once, at, like at, at a lot or something. Like but, liquor and beer. Yeah, oh, yeah like you mix everything. I was like, any which way, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like okay. that shit. Okay, so you just. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did it for himself. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. <laughs> we were talking to Brandon. Here's some inside baseball for you. We were talking to Brandon about using the sound effects before the episode. <laughs> And I love, we're like, when somebody says something funny, do the badoom and he does it for himself. <laughs> I love it. Like five minutes in, dude. <laughs> he was waiting. He was itching. His finger just couldn't wait to get on that That's what book. That's what receipt paper will do to you yep, guys. Yep, yep. These are facts. These are facts. Hit text receipt, dude. That's why Walmart switched. I don't know. <laughs> that's perfect. I like it. It's fucking perfect, man. Oh <sighs> shit! So uh, for New Year's, I went to Austin, right, mm. to uh, go see, go to Kill Tony, but go to other shows too. Seen Ron White on, dude. Hell yeah! I'm telling you, that 
hour was the best I've ever seen. I've seen Dave Chappelle, Joe Rogan. Uh, oh, he did an hour? He did like an hour Damn. and 15. Damn. It was his show. He has two people open for him who were really good, too. And then uh, the next night, we went to see Heath. Heath was at the uh, Red Bands Club, Sunset Strip. Mm. Killed it. He killed it. Hans Kim, all those guys were there. But my favorite was uh, Ty Rivera. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but he's fucking hilarious. I put a picture of him up. I'm talking about this dude will light that stage on fire. And then got to talk to him on the street. Oh damn! Hell yeah! Just met him after ten, ten minutes. Like no, it was it was a different night. We were just you know walking down Sixth Street. I see him. I was like, oh man, you're funny. He came up and talked to us for like ten minutes. Saw uh, D's the. Um, uh, he does the keyboard for Kill Tony in the back. Mm, yeah, Talked yeah. to him, ate tacos with him for about 30 minutes. Hell Damn. yeah. Hell yeah. What kind of tacos? Are... Oh, I had Al Pastor and Ooh, uh, okay. my boy had the uh, uh, beef. I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one of them. You know what I'm saying? I might look Mexican, but uh, <laughs> I'm too big. <laughs> Where we at? Hold up. Where we at? Damn, oh, you it. It. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, that's the dude? <laughs> Yeah, Ty Rivera. Ty Rivera, dude. What, dude? That is, I don't know. He looks like a juggalo. He's great. Guy. No, it's crazy in person too. He has he has like piercings all around his lip, like little oh, balls. Damn. It's really crazy to uh, like to see him in person. But I'm telling you, this dude's fucking so. He fun. looks like his podcast should be called Clown. Oh, <laughs> he got the whole like sad clown. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh shit. But he's good though. He's funny. Like really good, dude. Like like tear the house down good. And then uh Heath, I got to see him for like a split second yeah, dude, after he yeah. did his show. I just happened to be walking to the bathroom. He was right there. I was like, what's up? He gave me a hug and shit. I didn't even know if he, he remembered remember. you. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't even know if he remembered who I was. But uh he gave me a hug and shit. But then that's the night. Literally that night was the night he went out and got some pussy. Hell Legendary yeah. moment, dude. Clap that shit Hell the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> Hell Good yeah, assist, man. dude. Hell yeah. You know what? Fuck it, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Standing up, dude. Just, standing Just up. like in real life. Yeah, that shit was tight. Two shows there. Mm-hmm. Uh, went to open mic, bombed. Hell yeah. But it was all comics. Everybody bombed. They, they didn't laugh at anything, but uh, it was just fun to do it. You know, it was at 4 p.m. at Sunset Strip. That's crazy. Yeah. A 4 p.m. open Damn. mic? Yeah, it was perfect for us because it was like, that's the only time we had because we we're going to shows all the whole time. Right, right. And they had one. Literally nobody was in there but the comics. And they had some they had some funny guys in there who I ended up seeing later on, like well, the Sunset Strip show that Heath was on. What they did, which was so smart, they have a show. Like uh, so, Cam Pat. They had two shows back to back. On the early show, Cam Patterson uh, uh, headlined it. He was doing the same thing on the other show, but they didn't tell the crowd that they're about to. They're like, they're like, so your next comic, and it was just one of the people who worked there, open micer, mm-hmm. and so they didn't tell the crowd. So all the crowd stayed, and then you got to see these open micers go up, or uh, people who worked at uh, Sunset Strip or whatever, and they had like a lot of them. And the, the, like the audience didn't know at first, we didn't even know. I was like, oh, "Who they got fucking following Cam?" And this guy I never heard of. I'm like, "Oh, they were only doing five minute sets." And I was like, oh, "Okay, that, that's that's a, that's a good setup to get people to stay there to to actually see they trick people." And yeah, stay- <laughs> yeah. But you still could buy drinks. You know what I'm saying? You still yeah, could do right, everything right. you were gonna do. You just got mm-hmm. some extra comics. I thought that was pretty tight. And then went to the big kill Tony. Uh, yeah, that's man. crazy. Called dude. a football. You got the football. <laughs> Shane Gillis' signature on there. We Hell got yeah. Matt McCusker, Jet Ski Johnson, uh, David Jolly, uh, and then a lot of ones I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tony sign it though? I mean, I have no. I don't know what his signature looks like, so uh, I don't know. Mm. But uh, I'm guessing he did, right? Almost. Uh, he might we'll not. have to get our research guy to yeah. research the signature. <laughs> we got Shane Gilly up there. <laughs> well, yeah, that shit Hell was fun, yeah. man. That was a good New Year. That's awesome, though, dude. That I also is, heard man. you want some some bottle service. Oh yeah. Ooh. So like when you when you sign up, right? They had like a um a spin the wheel for Red Rose and Yellow Rose, which is their strip clubs down there. They sponsor them. And uh, I spent the wheel the first time. I got like a free lunch. We never picked it up because it was like far away from my hotel. And then the second time, I just spent it in like the bottle service one is like this little sliver. And then the other ones are like real big. Like it was like a koozie or a hat or whatever. And I was like bottle service. And it came up bottle service. So we got fucked up <laughs> on New Year's night yeah, at man. the Red Rose, which is definitely the uh, uh, the cheaper. Uh, <laughs> the Yellow Rose. The higher oh, because we went to the Yellow Rose too. And I mean, that was like. I was like, what's happening, right? Is everybody in here just the best looking chick I've ever seen in my life? Yeah, but dude. then uh the Red Rose had some um 
They were uh, a lot of asking if, if we wanted to do coke off their asses. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, when I heard you uh, talk about the red, what, what was it, the bottle contest win? Uh huh. I kid you not, I was so hyped. I thought you won like an open mic. So I was like, oh, we got bottle service. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell you yeah. think that's what they give you? The open I, mic? I didn't. I didn't know. I don't know what the fuck that is. Five dollars in a tootsie roll. Oh, <laughs> oh whatever. Shit. I was like, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> no, I, I, I won. You know, I won the, uh, the tab at. So we went to Fat Sammy's, mm-hmm. great Mike, Hell yeah. Jalen Hell Brown, yeah. Alex Z, and they were doing audi- auditions for uh, Black Panther, yeah. Hidden Dragon, the Black Panther ver- uh, part. Still and I, haven't heard back, dude. Yeah, yeah. Man, me neither. We, 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 all, we all applied. We don't know who, who won it. <laughs> I, got, I won the uh, tab, though, for next week. Oh, hell yeah. $20 hell yeah, tab. Bro. It was my hell first yeah. time winning that Ten one. beers with that. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, you can. Stone Brona <laughs> Vista or whatever the fuck. But, well, it's good, too. It's a good beer. I don't know how much more they have, though. I think they were, they were running low. Cause we'd be tearing that shit up. $2 sure. beers for comics, man. Hell shit. Yeah. I this, think I had like six of them. The <laughs> sales for those just skyrocket on Wednesday nights, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Wipe them, wiping them out, dude. <laughs> what happened on, uh, what's going on, man? Shit. Well, we had that big-ass break where there was, like, no open mics because mm-hmm. of Christmas and all that. Yep. Then it just happened. It wasn't the right week because it was somewhere on, like, second and fourth, somewhere on first and third. Yeah. But getting back into it, trying to prepare for the show tomorrow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This will already be out, but, you know. The, yeah, yeah. The newbie show. The newbie show where we... All people under two years yep. mm-hmm. go in there and do does a does a five minute set and then uh, we roast Jonathan Silver. Yeah, Hell one yeah, veteran man. comic. Yeah, one veteran comic. It's gonna be fun. Hell yeah, we're gonna kill it. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna get? Oh yeah, yeah, we gonna we gonna smack it. Uh, we yeah. got we got a new mic on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Two new mm-hmm. mics. Yeah, Shag yep. Nasties. Shag Nasties at. That's the later one. Yeah. At like nine. Mm-hmm. Daniel Castillo's. Daniel right. Castillo's mic, which was a good Mike's biker bar. You yep. know, new setting. I love it. And then uh, you got Jonathan Silvers is the, uh, leads into that at Pleasures. Pleasures, right Ooh. down the street. Yep. On, your so on Tuesdays, you got two mics you can come out to. Dude, the, I was talking to people about this. The, the mic at Pleasures, since it's like a sex store, how weird is it if you see somebody you know in there? They have no idea that you're in there, and it's like, it's like your neighbor or something. Yo. Your professor comes in there, and you're like, what the fuck, dude? That would be I'm going to need a B-plus at least. Dude. Okay, I'm telling everybody you bought this, like, dragon anal bitch. <laughs> dude, that would be me. I'd be shopping there on the regular. Like, no joke. I just go in there sometimes. Just and, for fun? And I'd be asking for recommendations. I'm like, what would you recommend this time? And they'd be like, uh, I guess you get that oil over there. Fuck it. Is it butterscotch? Yes. Tastes like butterscotch. Did you want it, butterscotch? Yeah, they said pick a flavor. So I said, old let me people pick that some tried to them. <laughs> they, yeah. they pulled the butters. Got the Werther's the original out of your pocket. <laughs> Pull up, be like, I'm some hard candy, nigga. No, that's weird. What? The what fuck? the fuck was that, Brandon? I know that's fucking crazy. That He's was... having a conversation with himself. With his self, with himself. With yeah, that's what I do podcast. sometimes. <laughs> I'm a crazy guy, man. I've been touching them receipts since I was 14. I told y'all that, that fuck with you. Hey, once Brandon <laughs> thinks he got something, he thought he had diabetes because Pat, yep. who is literally 300 pounds bigger than you, yep. <laughs> was like he has di- no shit. He has diabetes. You know what I mean? Damn. And Brandon's like, I, I probably got it too. Yeah, but I was back there scared to death. I was like, I was pointing at my girl. I was like, Oh shit! Hey, I had that this morning. <laughs> You're only 20, dude. You got time. Yeah, I know. I you don't have to bit. end up like dumb, dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My sugar's good. God damn it! All right. That's hold what the up, doctor hold told up. me. I had he said, it. "She said your sugar is good." <laughs> Sons of bitches. I just got my blood drawn for the first time in my life on Tuesday. Mm. How much of a fucking slap in the face would it be if I'm like pre-diabetic right now? Because I, I eat candy every day. I love it, dude. I can't Me stop too. myself. Because you work out every day, too. Yeah, but so it just kind of like it neutralizes. It like cancels out. So I'm just kind of just weird looking. It's just the weirdest <laughs> build. Because I am a dude that has eaten candy every day for the past two years, but also mm-hmm. like worked out almost every day for the past two years. It's the weirdest build ever. Yeah, dude. It good. You got to reward yeah, yourself, man. man. That's good. Yeah, yeah you got to reward yourself. Reward. Dude, mm-hmm. You telling me. Mm-hmm. I got a friend. He uh he's like he's he's older than me. He's like uh 39. He eats nothing but sweets. Like he doesn't like like regular food. He's just like I do it for substance, but he eats nothing but sweets and still small. Damn. Like good health There's everything. There's no way he's healthy though, man. Yeah, yeah. They go to the doctor, he's good. 
about he does it. Look, he does man. work a lot like he works around the house he's always moving and shit but you put a fucking flan he's puerto rican oh, <laughs> you okay. put a flan whatever it is pie cake thing in front oh he'll eat the whole thing he doesn't even cut slices i'll go in his refrigerator and he just he just eats it out of the like, like his wife makes it and he just eats the flan like out of a skillet yeah yeah he'll eat it out of the whole cake pan with a fork damn yeah, nobody else touches the flan yeah, but white folks can't do that, dude. We don't have the genes for that. <laughs> Wait, so what is this dish that y'all are talking about? Oh, it's Fun. good. I don't even know. How, it's like a, it's not going to sound good the way I'm explaining it. And I'm probably not explaining it right. But it's like a gelatin cake, right? Mm -hmm. With this fucking, I don't know, syrup on top. I don't know what, I don't know exactly what I've it is. But it is good. It's, it's good delicious. Yeah. It's good as fuck. I just explain Puerto Rican gonna be so mad if they watch this. <laughs> I explain that horribly, but it is good. I, 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 you can get it at like any Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm finna try it then next time. Yeah, they got a, a bakery on Jordan Lane. I used to go to all the time when I lived over there. That uh, does all that. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, you have to let me know. Well, the call. Yeah, Shit, it's right by the Dollar General on uh, Aldi. I have no idea. Aldi on uh, University. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, got you. and then yeah. the, it's next to the Dollar General, though. That's good. All the best bakeries are next to a Dollar General. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's Every trademark of a good bakery. <laughs> when I first moved here, I was like, I've never seen so many Dollar Generals in my fucking life. <laughs> in you the guys most have... random locations. Just everywhere. Oh, There's hell There's nothing yeah. else. There's going to be a Dollar General somewhere close by. <laughs> a Dollar General is just a modern-day lighthouse, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, okay, I'm still somewhat in civilization. I swear, I uh, I went to the aquarium on New okay. Year's Eve, and they fucked me over, dude. That's a whole other story. <laughs> but uh, on the drive there, it would be we'd be in, like, the, the Tennessee, like, the foothills to the Appalachians or mm -hmm. whatever, and there'd just be a Dollar General there with nothing else around. Like just the Dollar General, like it's it's they have them in the most rom remote locations, random ass shit, and it's not like they sell anything useful in there. Uh -huh. Like they only sell food and like just basic shit. Yeah, you can get some tummy, uh, like get some tums. Stop! Like hell if your yeah. car broke down, you could go to Dollar General. You could probably find a crackhead in the parking lot who'd fix it for oh, you. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So I retract my statement. No. <laughs> yeah, I said corrected, dude. They'll f they'll change your whole alternator out for twenty dollars. Yeah. Right there on up. the spot too. <laughs> they, for some reason they have the tools <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. as long as you let them heat the rock up on your hood while they're fixing it i feel like a crackhead would be a hell of a mall kiosk fucking person man because they gonna make sure you buy that shit oh they want oh, yeah. that crack but they're gonna get kicked out for being too aggressive yeah i can see yeah, it now they gonna get somebody all you gotta do is make eye contact with them and you know oh <laughs> that's over it's over with what you staring at me for now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit <laughs> Oh shit! What else is going on in the world? You see this Cat uh, Williams interview? Oh, no, I yeah, heard about I heard it. About haven't that. seen it. With Steve Harvey, he was like talking about him or something. He's talking about everybody. It's like two hours and twenty one minutes. I watched it. I was uh, I watched like you know most of it. He was lighting everybody up. He started with Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, uh, Kevin Hart, fucking like everybody in Hollywood. He said Harvey Weinstein asked to suck his dick. Yeah, Damn. you I'm think that's about real? See now, now look. Wait, he also said that. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he also said that uh, he was uh, offered a college scholarship at seven, and read three thousand books from I don't know in like a span of three years. So he's insane. Uh, I guess I, I don't know because I guess some, like while I was looking at the comments, some people were like, uh, he did get off a scholarship at twelve, and he also said he can run a four four forty right now at fifty two years old. Okay. So so we have to take some of these things with a grain of salt. He's still smoking. That was a funny joke, man. He's still smoking <laughs> crack, dude. And that's the thing. Another thing he said he never did drugs, really? which I'm just like I know I know when people are on drugs, and there was a stretch there where Cat Williams was. Yeah. You got beat up by the kid and shit like that. <laughs> mm. I'm just saying it wasn't all natural. There's no way. Maybe he just drinks though. I don't know. But he Maybe. said he he's never did a drug. Uh, he said a lot of things in there. Mm. But I'm kind of getting I'm kind of getting that uh, Jesse Smuley. Uh, oh shit! I remember. That. I mean, this it's just like something like he some things he he's like he talking about like Steve Harvey and them what mm -hmm. funny if you even if you was around back in the day, Kings of Comedy it was just Bernie Mac. That yeah. was what. 
Yeah. Everybody was talking about. He ended it. His set was fucking perfect, and all that shit. And I think D.L. Hughley is funny. I think Cedric Entertainer is funny too. But uh, Steve Harvey stand up never did it for me. But he had to, he has a good joke uh, about uh, church. He's like, I went to church so much whenever I was uh, younger. He's like, he's like, now I rather. He's like, if I have to go again, I rather go to hell. <laughs> 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 well, that's how I felt when I was younger. I went to church so fucking much. I'm like, is this what we got to do to go to heaven? True. I might burn for eternity. <laughs> that might. You might be on the Steve Harvey pipeline, dude. <laughs> you do stand up like the Steve Harvey and Wayne Brady pipeline. I could see you hosting like a daytime TV game no, show. That, that Let's would make, make a deal. That would make me want to blow my brains out. I would. I don't care how what the money it's is. The worst job. Couldn't do it because I can't control what. Sometimes I just say things. Yeah, it's not meant to be hurtful or anything like that. But it's what comes to my mind, and like like that Dante trigger, I just say it. You know <laughs> what, what I mean? What hey, if what? you could do one on like BET Plus? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and they let you God. say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. If you let me say whatever I want, for sure. Because oh I'm going to get gosh. in trouble. There's no yeah. way you. I mean, right now, I don't. I only have like this much digital footprint, and it's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I say something bad in every single thing. There's not a lot, but everything that's out there is terrible. It's hateful. (laughs) If you you were like, oh, we're going to cancel him or have a dis... Yeah, easily. (laughs) But that's what it is. (laughs) Oh, my gosh, man. Which which game show would you want to be on? Like, Like would you want to be on, like, Prices, right? No, like a contestant. Oh, Family Feud. Really? Yeah, yeah. But, dude, I feel like I would get so pissed. My family dumb as hell. No offense to y'all, but, like, I feel like they would ask a basic-ass question and just they would not get it right. No. They don't know what other people think. They've yeah. lived here their entire life. Damn. They're, they're not connected with the culture, dude. Family Feud, you yeah. got to be somewhat connected to reality. Yeah, yeah. All my family, they watch you know, Family Feud all the time. Like, we, we when I, at our family reunions, we have a... We do a Family Feud uh, game, like the whole setup with the table and the uh, conference room and the hotel and shit like that. Oh, damn. So we, so we would have, I would what? probably be the wink. Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, Did I y'all have to... matching shirts? Yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I, do a joke, I do a joke no like that. No fucking way. I, I do a joke like that. Dude, like, that's I'm the black. blackest thing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm black. I'm, I'm a, uh, wear, wear the same color shirts at a family reunion black. I, on a cruise, because that's where we're going our next, uh, <laughs> our next one is on a cruise. Yeah. Does your mom wear the shirt too? My mom doesn't go to these family. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get to go. Hell yeah. <laughs> she didn't get invited to the cookout. She'll, she'll she'll get invited, but my mom's not. She's not going. She doesn't. Uh, they they don't talk that much. Oh, you know gotcha, what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. That side of the family, and then uh, my mom. Yeah, I'm not gonna say they don't get along, but they don't do. You know, it's just like, hey, 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 Cardi. <laughs> You know, that shit like so that. So good to see you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they like my grandma now. She invites her for Christmas and stuff. Like if we if we do it down there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like this with my German side of family. I don't know none of them niggas. <laughs> like I swear to God, they could be they could be walking across right here. Like, oh, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they all white? Or? Hell yeah. Why? <laughs> they, they live in Germany. Dog. I didn't want to assume. <laughs> that, you know. I don't think we. I think we the only mixed ones in the family. That's why they disowned my mom at first, you know. Damn. Oh, yeah. damn. It was yeah. like that? Yeah, two little nigga babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't be you Brandon, can't be you missed the badoom. I know. I was thinking about doing it, but I was like, I was like, that's deep. <laughs> like, I, was, I almost yeah. quit. She all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like contemplating. I was like. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn, man. Yeah, I don't. I would want to be. I would want to see you on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, but mm. see, some of those questions, I'm just. I know that's why I want to see you on. Out. There. I'll be out in like the first one. You know, I'm, I'm like, oh, I got this. You would oh be the only God. dude to cash out at like five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you get the first question right, you're like, I'm done. Yeah. Contractually, you cannot make me keep going. If they, if they, I was like, you just counted out in twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Read just film it's just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Can I get half of that in a money order? Do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh gosh, man, shit. I feel like if I was on there, you remember the Price Is Right with Bob mm-hmm. Baker? Yeah. You remember that episode where that girl could not figure it the fuck out? Like she just kept on answering, like, what was it? She was like, they're like, what's eight plus eight? And she was like, twenty five. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, man. <laughs> Like she just couldn't figure okay. it out. Okay. Uh, uh, on the prices, right? Yes. Why, would, why would they be doing eight plus Not, eight? My bad. What did he do? What, what was it? What was? Yeah, she was trying to guess the price. I I went on a whole different train track right there. That's 
She was hold on. Let me was let was going on. let me rephrase it. Uh-huh. She couldn't get shit right. They were like, they were like, wait, how much this pencil? Probably five, 50 bucks. What fifty bucks? No, man. Oh, okay. Way okay. less than that shit. She just couldn't get it. Mm-hmm. This was from a while ago. Yes, yeah, two thousand eight. Right? So, so oh. you would do prices right? Nah, fuck that shit. Man. Like, I was saying I couldn't. You do work that. in a I, grocery store. Yeah. Right? Hell, dude. Every time they ask me, I'm I'm trying to find it with my. Like, hey, man, how we gonna do this shit? No, no. <laughs> I would do. They just going to adventure with Brandon. <laughs> he also yeah, works at like it is. the smallest public. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at my. Like, I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. That's three <laughs> like <aisles>. seven miles. <laughs> nah, man. I'll be on Family Feud because no matter what you ask, he'll just look at you like you're crazy. Ah, uh-huh. I can't believe he said that. Shit, Bing. Well, that's the worst that can happen. Yeah. Everything you think you do good on Family Feud? Maybe we yeah. should do a Family Feud like uh, get the game. Oh my and, gosh, and, and, and that'd record be hilarious. that shit. I'm down with all the, like you get four me, comments Bryce, from... Jake, <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> Charlie versus like you, Brandon, <laughs> Sci Fi, yeah. yeah. and Dante like Steve Harvey. Y'all have matching <laughs> shirts. Yes. Oh my god, Dante, Steve Harvey, dude. <laughs> you guys have to have matching shirts though. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Y'all have oh, to have yeah, matching yeah. shirts oh, yeah. for Family Feud. But mm. me and we're all in like just like regular the shit we would wear for real. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Oh Bryce shit. has got a tight ass like camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> he's always got that tight ass. Hey, he ain't coming out that shirt ain't tight. Well, he's the strongest person in Houseville. The strongest True. comic in Houseville. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. 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 You feel like you would do good at the fast money part? If I went first. You think so? I, if I went first, I'd do pretty. I would do pretty good. Because some of them, there's only like one answer. Yeah, and it's what everybody thinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so like if I went, the second person has to be the best at it, because you got to be able to think on the fly. Yeah. You know, because you know some of those, you you know other shit, but in your mind you can only think of that one answer, and you're like, oh, if it's not that, uh, and there's another mm-hmm. answer there, but yeah. But I, I would do family. What are you gonna do? Damn, dude. Maybe just like let's make a deal because it's the easiest mm-hmm. one. It's like pick curtain one, two, or three. There's no yeah. game. It's let's, just luck. We'll, we'll, let's make a deal. I don't, I don't, I let's make a deal. Which My one? grandma watches it all the time. It's the one that Wayne Brady is on, yeah. where they're like, hey, where you get zonked. Black people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's black. <laughs> but, but like, it's like the curtain one, two, and three. Yeah. Or you can take what's in this envelope. You know, like it's just simple shit. That is not. That's are no, you smarter no, than a no, fifth grader? No, I got an explanation. When <laughs> when you were talking about which one you would want to do, I instantly thought of this man. I was like, dude, I don't know, dude. Oh, do you remember, uh, remember Double that? Dare? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Do Double I, Dare. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a um, wipeout. Mark Mark Summers. <laughs> Mark Summers used to do Double Dare. I, I would pay anything to see Brandon do American Ninja Warrior. Oh hell yeah, dude! Sign me up, y'all. Dude, can listening? we please make a fucking obstacle course? I will do it. I will do it. Wait, no, there's one in Huntsville. It's like the Ninja Academy or Shut whatever. I've never up. been there, but I seen ads for it on Facebook. I wonder it's if we like, can film that. It's that could be the skit. We gotta do that. Yeah, I'll do it. I will. Yeah, well, I'm scared. I, we, we for, a, if we get like a year, I'll fucking do it. Like 52 episodes, uh, we should go skydiving. Okay, no, no, hold up now. Man. Nah, you oh, a little too far. Hold up, right? yeah, that's too far. Oh, wait. I mean, I would do it. I would do it. Uh, I have to lose some weight because I think it'll be go like two fifty. I'll say it on camera, dude. Though. If we can get to a year, if we put out one every week for a mm-hmm. year, dude, I'll go skydiving and film it. To put okay, it on the yeah, too. okay. I'll if I'll do it with you. I'll, yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, y'all go. I'll go do the little ninja thing. <laughs> Brandon, yeah. you have to stand on the ground and record yeah. it. I'm going to make sure y'all make and it. And then if we hit the ground, post it on Reddit. All right, please yeah. post it. I'll be like, Damn. If I go down doing something I don't want to do, <laughs> when I came post down. that shit. <laughs> when I came down. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what if you, God. what dude, what if you survived? That's what I was oh, just thinking. Fuck. Only a crackhead can survive. And then we mark thing. it on the map. Yeah. <laughs> Boosie in the back. If Fitnall was there, he would have died before he landed. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel a, a low magnitude earthquake in about <laughs> ten months from now, <laughs> that one, it's your fight. It's dumb. Fuck you. Well, I fuck knew you were gonna say that. Shit. I was like, you gonna say it's dumb. I knew you know, it. How funny would it be if there was like an outline of you in the dirt? <laughs> oh fuck. You ain't. Shit. I just imagine it. <laughs> 
<laughs> in like Looney Tunes terms, you know? Right, just you, like, come out, you, you go through the earth, you're in China, <laughs> Alex Z is there. <laughs> Yo, are you talking about... <laughs> Yo, you remember when on uh, Norbit Respute you crashed and the whole thing said, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Yeah, that would be fun. We we, yeah. we need to start thinking. Yeah, you never would. jumped out of a plane in the Army? I did uh, air assault, so I repelled out of a helicopter. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. That but you got, you got... Um, How does that work? So you make your seat, which is uh, a rope. You make it, uh, you just hook it up. So now whenever you're coming out, you got a... Um, What's those thing called? Ring, um, ring. Not not ring, but you the things you hook in and like they, a oh, the little, yeah, carabiner, yeah, yeah. Those, those things, clip thing, yeah, those yeah. clip things. So you got that, and then you hook up, <clears throat> you hook your that's what that's hooked up to your seat. You hook it up in there, and then you got the slack rope, right, which everybody's mm-hmm. going to use to get off of there. And then you just hook it through your seat. You hold it with this hand, and then your right hand is your what? Well, your dominant hand is your brake hand. So whenever you you come out, you let it go. You start uh, repelling, right? When you want to break, you bring it to your back. And when you bring it to your back, it stops Damn. you. Now, <laughs> this sounds good on paper. Damn. But when we do it, like you do it on a wall, you know, to practice, you, you, you got to go through. You don't, you do the helicopter on the last day of the training, right? And so I'm definitely scared of heights. Yeah. Like I didn't want I, I I was already in the Army for, I was already at Fort Campbell for like five years until mm. I did it. And everybody at Fort Campbell, if you're not on a profile, you have to go do aerosol. I escaped for five years. Got a new first arm. He was like, why the fuck you ain't been to Arizona? I was like, oh, you know, I ain't you. like, get the fuck over there. Who the fuck no. you think you are? Go do Arizona. So I was Damn, like, I'm going to fail this shit. But then I, because I, I always fail the obstacle course because you got to climb, you got to climb this ladder that, that gets more space in between. So the first five one, you're like, oh, I'm just doing it. And then after that, you have to like stand on one, hold like hold the side of the bar and like climb up for the last two. I'm like, Damn, and so man. whenever I would get to that point when we're just training, I'm like, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then uh and then I was gonna do that again. I was like, I'm just gonna fail this part. And then I fail the uh I failed the course. I get kicked out. And then uh one of the one of the uh, air assault sergeants was like, You you a little bitch. I was like, See now we had to go there. Damn, dude. Call Hell me no. that's all and that's all it takes, and that's not a good thing. But that's all it <laughs> takes. I was like, Well, I'll fucking risk my life. <laughs> And then when I got over, I was so happy. Like, I got over the last one, and I was coming back down. I got so happy. I got a little cocky that uh, I was like, oh, I was just coming down, and I missed the thing, and I had to catch myself like this on the fucking, um, on the on the wooden plank. How high up were you? Damn, like, man. 30 feet, like, uh, far. Hell damn. no. You got, they, damn. But they, they, they have, like, the big cushion things that you would fall on. Oh, but dude. if you fall off the side, you ain't got that shit. Dude. You know what I'm saying? I was holding on to the side. That's how I would get up. I would stand up. I would hold on to the to the uh, the the big uh, wooden thing on the side and then come over. So then once I did all that, then we get there on the last day, and then we um, we all we had to do after we repelled the helicopter was a twelve mile ruck march in three hours. That's the, that's the final thing you have to do. So we're uh, uh, up on the helicopter and they're like, "Hey, you gotta do not break, do not put your uh, your brake hand in the small of your back until at least three seconds." Three seconds is a long fucking time to be mm-hmm. like free falling. So I instantly like I got out there. I got my L. You got to get in the L. Let's your feet out and you're leaning like this, and then you go like that, and that's how you jump back, right? You're supposed to go three to five seconds because they have a skid on the bottom of the helicopter, and so my dumb ass was like, as soon as I felt me, I was like, what? No, nope. <laughs> and I stopped it. I hit my fucking hand on the skid, broke my hand. Oh hell! Damn. So then after that, I was, my adrenaline was pumping so bad, I was just like, get me the fuck down here. So I was just like, uh, you know, I got down, and then uh, and then I had to, I couldn't tell them I broke my hand because then they would kick me out. I had to do the twelve mile ruck march. I don't need my hand for a ruck march. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I did that. But the next person who went was a captain, dude. And this motherfucker hooked his uh, key ring on the wrong thing. So he wasn't, um, I, I can't explain it all the way, but he, he put his key ring on the wrong thing. So he couldn't repel. So as soon as he went out, he hit the side and they had to pull him back up. And we're all watching. I was like, if, if I went... If I went after him, I wasn't doing this. Oh hell! Like they, like they had it, like because they're hooked in, you know. They're they're all the way on the helicopter pulling this motherfucker back up. I'm like, hell! Did it no, fuck, fuck him up? Thing. No, he was good, but it was just he was hanging out there and he couldn't do nothing. Like he oh. couldn't repel because he had hooked his uh, key ring on the um, gotcha. on the wrong part. Man. So uh, I'm like, and the aerosol sergeants had to get in trouble for that because they're supposed to check that shit. We don't know what the fuck we're doing all the way. You know what I mean? Man. But yeah, that, that shit was uh that was one of the things I did that I was like I ain't never th- thought I would do because uh, I'm fucking so man. scared of height. Yeah, that's Dude. crazy. Here's an <laughs> applause for you, man. We need to just take a second. Damn. 
Air Assault, baby. He could do. Fuck Airborne. Uh, All right, it's Air nah. Assault right here. One on one, gang, bitches. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> The fellow person scared of heights, man. I salute to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Does that shit not burn your hand though when you break? You wear big gloves. You you gotta uh, wear you gotta wear inserts, and then your le- they have to be leather gloves. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, hell yeah, if you did without no gloves, that shit'll fuck you up. Uh, yeah, but the the hardest part of all of it is getting the ale because you have to extend your legs all the way out, right? But keep your front this side of your body in an L. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And it, it is, it's scary to do that. Like, it sounds like, okay, you're just standing there. But when you have nothing below you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, fuck. Like, I'm really about to go out of this bitch free falling. That's the feel of it. But you, I still feel like you have more control than jumping out of a fucking airplane. Yeah. You just have to will of your parachute at that point. Like, if I fuck up, then yeah. I, I would die in mm-hmm. uh, an air assault. But, you know, also they had people down there to help you out, like a, a spotter or whatever. So they could manually stop you if you were going too far. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, on um, fucking airborne, it's just if your parachute works. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then you land right. Because a lot of people, parachute work, they don't land. Like my brother's airborne, and he had a whole bunch of people who broke their, like, femurs and shit Fuck. by not landing right. Damn, bro. I know that shit hurts. Oh, Damn. femur. I mean, that's got to be the worst bone to break. It is, I think it is. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, dude. It is. Like, how much like, how much time do they get you to learn this shit before you jump out of the plane? <laughs> Airborne is, is a little longer. I don't know. I, it's, it's, I don't think it's a month, but maybe a little less than a month. Oh, Air, no. Air assault's on like 10 days. 10 days to, uh, to do that. Hell no. Yeah. Couldn't do it's it. Fucking but you, no, it's fucking No, but it's like 10 days of immersive training, like... You're you're going. You got to run everywhere, and every step you say you got to be air assault, air assault. Every every left step is air assault, air assault. So they break you down to be like you're gonna listen to every fucking thing we say, even if you're a high ranking. Like we had a lieutenant colonel get kicked out by an E five sergeant. It's not that high, right? He was like, yeah, I got here late. He was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And then and then the, he's like, the, uh, the lieutenant colonel was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you've been late the last two days. You don't have your shit. Get the fuck out. Damn. Kick them out. And they got—he's backed by the general, you know, of the whole post at Campbell, and uh, yeah. So it don't matter what your rank is, you are gonna listen to the air assault sergeants because they already did it. They done did this shit a million times, you know what I mean? Right. They know what they're doing. And then you, when you fucking with people's lives, you ain't got time to. Yeah. Who gives a fuck if you're a lieutenant colonel? Do you know how to do this shit? You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the fun parts of the army. The fun <laughs> parts. Fun. Dude. I hate to see the not fun parts, bro. Right. The Going fun to the. <laughs> Welcome to Brandon's Corner. It's story time. Greetings and salutations, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you all a story. So I need you to buckle up, sit down, get comfortable, do whatever you got to do to listen to this shit. So I had a friend recently. uh, He told me some shit that uh, he recently is dealing with, and it's tough. It's tough. I've never expected this to happen to somebody. What, What happened was he opened the door. And he sees a man smoking crack like this. And his friend is a fucking crackhead. His boyfriend is a crackhead. He goes up to him. He's like, hey, man, why are you doing all this crack, man? Hey, you supposed to tell me everything. I thought I could trust you. He stuck me like, hey, hold the fuck up. I'm a crackhead, bro. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I do crack. And you're going to have to learn to live with the shit. If you don't learn to live with it, then you could get the fuck up off the boat because that's what life is. It's like a boat. And I'm stirring the shit. And you can stay on or you can get the fuck off. And that's what happened because who the fuck want to stay with a crackhead, man? All your shit's going to be fucking destroyed. He's going to sell your TV for 25 cents and shit. So he was like, fuck it, I'll leave. But it was respect. Mutual, mutual respect. Because think about it, man. That's how we should all think. Be you. If somebody tells you not to do something, be like, fuck it, that's who I am. If you're racist, be racist. If you're doing shit, just do- fuck it. This is America. Don't catch me slipping now. There you go, bro. Be you. Be like the crackhead. Goodbye. Did you say there's somebody like jacking off on people's uh-huh. faces and sh- or some what? shit? What? You had like a serial masturbator. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... When I was so when you when I was going to Campbell, I was leaving Korea, coming to Campbell. You go to reception if you're single and you don't have a family. You stay at this like barracks place, and it's like uh you get usually four to six, two, th- four to six people stay in a the room. They got bunk beds in there, right? And uh, when you when you come in, you get a briefing. Every every duty station you go to, you get a briefing about the about the layout, what you're gonna do. And one in the briefing, they were like lock your doors at night. 
And it was like, because we got a guy coming around here jacking off on people's faces. <laughs> releasing seed onto people's faces and running. Yeah. So the people, like, they'll like, wake up and like, what the fuck? And this dude's already gone. Draining yeah. indoors. Yeah. And he was, what? whenever I was going through reception, like, they were so uh, keen about it. Because I guess it either, either was happening or it just happened. And they were like, lock your fucking doors. And they gave us this example. I was like, well, going to lock my door tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you want spurs on their face. <laughs> that but, sounds like something parents tell their kids when they want them to yeah. remember something. It's like, you know, go to sleep or somebody's going to come in here and jerk off on your face. <laughs> hey, he's just trying to make a better garden. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hit the ba right there. No. <laughs> That's how you got, you got to load out on the ba I don't know how much of that I believe, though. What? You know what I'm saying? Like the people jerking off in the river mm -hmm. to make sure you get a good harvest. That was just a weird dude that was into like voyeurism. You know? Yeah. yeah like yeah. there's no scientific basis. Oh, no. That. They don't know what. No. Yeah. Back then, you could you could say anything. You're just a Mesopotamian pervert, dude. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> could have been it. just mad at him. Like that nigga was jacking off in the Nile River or something. You know, like, nah, what the fuck? Yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> they caught him jacking up. They're like, what the fuck are you doing, man? He's like, it's for the. You know, Anubis told me to do yeah. it. So we could get for the plant, some fucking corn or whatever the fuck we grow. You know what? <laughs> and all that has to happen is it randomly happens. Yeah. Like he does that. He tells people that, and it's like like the corn starts growing, and they're like, "Oh well, I guess you do have to jack off." And you know, it's just something that just was going to happen. Next year, anyway. everybody out there just jerking <laughs> off into this river. We need a new harvest. Come on. <laughs> and then it all fails, and it's like it's because one of you doesn't believe hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, that's gosh, what that's dude. what always blows my mind about like human sacrifice who was oh, the first yeah. person to be like let's throw this bitch over the river you know what i mean yeah. like we got to throw off the cliff we're not getting any fucking rain no nah, yeah. man i remember in class we learned like it was in that the aztecs would do the human they would take like prisoners of war when they would fight like the neighboring clans or tribes or whatever and they take the prisoners of war and sacrifice them to their gods like pull their heart out and shit yeah. Yeah. They didn't eat them or nothing. They weren't weird. They just <laughs> tortured them, dude. They didn't eat them. <laughs> but you got to think some of these droughts and shit were like for hundreds of years. Yeah, and that just fucks you up. That's like, mm -hmm. you know, generations of people who have never seen rain. That's fucking wild. Yeah. That's crazy. How do you even survive, though? I don't know. How do you get food? You got to trade? You got to, like, sell your wife? For sure, do something like yeah. that. Sell kids. Sell the kids first. They were yeah. selling kids in America during the Great Depression. The Great Depression, mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. Let's sell yeah. the shit Would you have bought a couple? You think? Fuck, I don't, I don't want no goddamn kids. <laughs> Buy some. Yeah. Shit. But that was back in the day when you could discipline them. And like, yeah, but <laughs> make yeah. them do shit for yeah, you. Yeah, so right. Right. That is true. How, how sick would it be if you could just make them go buy a pack of cigarettes for you and you could stay here and edit the podcast? God, that'd be so good. Hey, hell yeah, hey, you get a beat jerky too. <laughs> you have to write them a note, be like, "It's for me." It's like it's for my dad, dude. Come on, that would be tight. See, kids are good. I guess uh, whenever they get to a certain age, and they can do shit for you. Yeah, but before that, they're just fucking leeches, man. They used to be useful until they made all these fucking CPS yeah. laws. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. bullshit. Yep. Man. Hell yeah, you. I, I thought this was a free country. Yeah, I did. Guess <laughs> I not. I made them. Why can't I fucking hit them? <laughs> I don't get it. You got to be able to. You got to be able to spank. I'm not saying beat the shit out of them, but some of these kids, you could tell. Even they're like your age or oh, yeah, a little bit yeah. older than you even. Like I would say like 27 and below. You could tell some of these motherfuckers ain't got the shit smacked out of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, You yeah. ain't got to beat them. With a, you ain't got to do all that shit. But smack, just smack fire from motherfuckers' face. Yeah, They feel that shit for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, you, you're sending a message. Yeah. I remember the <laughs> first time. I, first and only time I ever said I hate my mom. She was leaving somewhere. I wanted something. And I was like, she was getting in the car. I was like, I hate you. And I slammed the door. I, was, I felt like I was a shit. I heard that door open. She commenced to whooping, beating the shit out of me. Damn. And she did. I, I probably only got like, well, this is what she says every time. She, I only whooped you a handful of times. But that um, that was one I remember. I was like, I've never saying I hate you to my mom again because she she came through that door like fucking Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah. Kicked that bitch down and whooped my ass. I'll say, dude. I'll say this. My fifth grade teacher. I went to a public school. My fifth grade teacher had a paddle in her classroom and would call kids' parents. Mm -hmm. And if their parents agreed, get the fuck out of here. She whooped them in front of the class. Oh, shit. it was crazy. And it happened to me one time, dude. And I was like, <laughs> never again. Man. You got paddled in front of class. Yeah, it broke the Eighth Amendment, dude. I can't even remember what it was for either. I think I was just talking when I wasn't supposed to be, and she, and you know, my fucking grandparents aren't going to be like, no, yeah, and be like, whoop his fucking ass. <laughs> so like, they, like, dude, it was terrible. I 
I swear my feet came up off the floor, dude. There was holes drilled into it. It was like a thick ass piece of wood. Get the it had fuck. a handle. I don't want to know where she bought it. From, that was like dude, 2015, but... right? I wasn't in the fifth grade. It was, <laughs> was like, it it was like 2012. 2012. <laughs> God I damn! I didn't know they still did it. Alabama don't give a fuck. I don't even know if that was okay. Like I don't, I don't even know if that was legal. But it a hundred percent happened, dude. She had a paddle in the classroom. I That's remember it vividly. Wild. Yeah. And my grandma used to hit me with whatever she had at the mo- ping pong paddle, uh, the wooden back scrap, whatever the fuck mm-hmm. she had. And I, I mean, I don't hold it against her, dude. I wasn't that bad of a kid, but I, I was fucking. I was sometimes, as yeah, hell. yeah. Sometimes you fuck up. You need that ass whoop. Yeah. You ever, I know you got. That was my I school ain't, too. I ain't ask you, like I they know had you got paddles too. Beat. They, <laughs> they had paddles too in my school. Like one time, they were trying to whoop my ass for something. My mom came in there was like, nobody whooped my kid's ass but me. And then she put me in the car. <laughs> she was quiet as fuck, man. That was the most quietest ride of my life. And then she had me go in the room. She like closed the door. She waited 50 minutes. I'm trying to put all the clothes on, cover my ass, and get ready. And then as soon as she opened the door, all that shit went out the window. I just ran for dear life <laughs> and tripped over my fat ass because I was, like, big and I was just rolling. Then she grabbed me. I tried to crawl. She yanked me back and then got me like, get, 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 took the pants off. I was mm. almost butt naked except for my underwear. Fucking horrible shit. <laughs> Yeah, it gets real like primal real quick. Uh-huh. Because yeah. once you decide to run away, you hit the abort button, you realize it's just your physical abilities versus theirs at that <laughs> point. And when you're a kid, dude, you're getting your ass kicked. You get your ass every time. <laughs> just happen. And then every she'll take you to the foster time. care and be like, you know what? You could be here if you keep it up. Oh, I damn. <laughs> she did that to you? Yeah. She beyond scared she, straight. Yeah. Yeah. Straight, straight. She's like, you, you know? keep it up, you're going to be here <laughs> fighting every day. And then them foster kids, bro. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of my family works with the, uh, but these are the, like the foster kids who are uh, like get taken from DCFS and shit like that. Got little mental yeah. problems. Yeah, and uh, the motherfuckers will fuck you up. Yeah, they get in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. This shit was so funny. This dude, he was a big basketball. Sc- I give him gut, gut, <laughs> Gus. So Gus, uh, he was working there, and he was like, put it on his Facebook post, his big ass Facebook post. Now these kids, and they, they slower. They like got something wrong with. And uh, he was like, I just got assaulted at work. So I guess the kid was like, Hey, come out here. He told him he couldn't. He couldn't. He had to go to bed. Right. He said he hit him with the laptop. <laughs> Damn. In the back of the head and start stuffing his legs. <laughs> I swear to God. I hope I can find a Facebook post. He what? said they were stuffing his legs. Soon as I soon as this scene is, everybody start calling. Like, did you see the thing? Gus got his ass. What? He hit him in the back of the head with a laptop. When he fell, they start stomping his legs. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, of them? man. I think, I think it was just the one. And when you see the dude, it was like a little scrawny kid. And we're like, Gus. You could have just whooped his, you know, you could have just yeah. held him down or something. He's like, man, he hit me in the back of the head with his lap. <laughs> yeah, when they but when they sneak <laughs> sneak hit you, bro, it's over. Oh, Come on, yeah. man. I don't care. If you get hit and like cracked in the back of the head by like a Toshiba laptop, bro, yeah. you're not getting that it. That might be it. Hell and the yeah, only man. way you can get up is with your legs, dude. That they're mm-hmm. smarter than you think. <laughs> They go for the weak points. Yeah, you knew what was they going do what on. They can, dude. That's like the Ewoks. They can't beat the stormtrooper just face to face. They got set up booby traps and shit. Home Alone, he had to set up traps. Man. Hell yeah! You just yeah. got situational awareness. It's Vietnam. They knew the terrain, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh shit! You got any funny work stories or crazy? No, nah, shit's not really happening. Work, work is always depressing, dude. D- Nobody ever falls off that fucking swinging, dude. The thing is, if you fall off into that net, yeah, you have. They won't get you out. They make you stay in it until the fire department gets there. Really? That's yes. fucked up. No, it's a, no. It's like legally, it's it's some mm-hmm. fucking code that like you can't do it, you and you and you can't physically pull yourself up. I don't. I don't. I mean, nobody's gonna like hold you down. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. It's like, but I'm saying, is like, it like is that because you you? It's probably hard to get up through that net, like to get back up there and grab something. I mean, if you don't have the physical ability to stand up, mm-hmm. not fall over when you swing a golf club, you're probably not gonna be able to pull yourself out of that net. <laughs> and you know, our infrastructure is questionable at best. So if that net might just break, yeah, okay, okay. you might fall through and hit the next one. I Dang. seen I seen somebody on uh online like. Yeah. Fall all the way. They missed the net. Yeah. And Damn. fail. It's a small ass net. <laughs> it's probably only rated for like up to 150 pounds. So if you're, it, my ass ain't going right through that bitch. Then. <laughs> me too. Plummeting, dude. <laughs> That's People too throw me. the golf clubs all the time, though. That's always fun. 
Okay. And every once in a while, somebody will hit one and like slice it so far it like hits the next person's machine. Uh. One day somebody's gonna get hit. One time somebody bounced it off the fucking thing, and I'm out there cleaning up some mess somebody made, and the fucking thing whizzed right by my head and hit the wall. Oh hell no, nah, man. Yeah, if I get hit by that dude, I'm coming for all the money. In the world. change you're gonna be rich. I don't make it. Um, do you get to drive the cart out there? Hell no, dude. That's the facilities people that do that. Uh, I'm not doing. People try to hit the cart. Yeah, like they tell you don't hit the cart. Everybody wants. I try to. Hit I the thought they the they were making it so you would hit the cart. Like I thought. Well, that was they armor it up. Yeah, like it's like an armored vehicle. They put all the pads and the metal bars on. The that's outside the best time to shoot is when the cart's out there. I thought that's when, what you're yeah, aiming yeah. for. When you're on the first floor, people will put it on the tee, put the ball on the tee, get the driver, and just wait for it to come by and just unload into this fucking thing. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm not gonna say anything. Thing about. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that guy. <laughs> the facilities people stop eating all the fucking food that they make. Dude, Hell yeah. They eat all the fucking food, dude. The <laughs> facilities are just a bunch of biggins. Uh, they're already on the first floor where the meal comes out and uh, they go and they get it all. Bro. Okay. Hell yeah. They get it all. It's fucked up. Yeah. Man. It's fucked up. Mm-hmm. They know what they're doing. You know what? Since we are up here telling people statements at the jobs and shit. People, you got to stop fucking up these bathrooms at grocery stores, man, because people got to clean that shit up. I had somebody do a revenge shit, put it all over the fucking walls and sinks and shit, and everybody's like, Brandon, you could do it. And as I'm cleaning, they're like, you want a free sub? Who the fuck want a free sub after that bullshit? <laughs> then a homeless lady was taking a shower in there, rubbing all her shit, and they're like, Brandon, can you do that? It's just, and then a mouse, I don't fuck with mouse. It's horrible, man. They love me to clean. I don't Every think time some shit go down. <laughs> I don't I think That's the mouse. Worse. They had you clean so they 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 like shit's on the wall, get branded. Yes. Yeah. Every time and everybody felt so bad. Like, I feel so bad for him. He's gonna enjoy that sub though. No the fuck I'm not. <laughs> no the So what do you what, 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 you, you got gloves, this. I hope. Oh hell yeah, I had huh. gloves, but all you got mask. You got, you got gloves. Well, COVID season, thankfully. Yeah, uh-huh. I had a mask. I just got gloves, mask, that's it. Why would somebody come in the bathroom and smear shit on the wall? Because he got mad because we kicked him out the first time. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah elephant foot. He rolled and you know up what in they there. kicked him out for? Smearing shit on the wall <laughs> yeah, the first yeah. time. And then he came back. He was like, fuck you guys. Repeat offender. That's Are you what serious? the fuck he is, man. Yeah. Like a Civil War vet, too. That's what he looked like. Well, I, I, don't think, I don't think he was in the Civil No, I guy. said that's what he looked like. He oh, pulled okay. up in there and looked like he finna call me the N-word. Lieutenant yeah. Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Elephant foot. There you go. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Elephant Lieutenant. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I feel you, man. I feel you. I fucked up. I, do, I don't. <laughs> okay, if they're asking me, I'm like, yeah. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell no. Oh, you do it the Like, if you had to do it one time, I'm not doing it the next. I'm not doing it the first time. Lot, I'm going to be honest. I don't. I, they, you could not pay me enough to do that shit. If that's your job. You guys don't have a janitor, right? No, nah, we are the janitor. There? Yeah, they are the janitor. Mm-hmm. So you have to rotate that out. That's yeah. a manage. That's the manager's job. I'm like, look, dude, you're you're our leader. You go in there and you clean the shit up off the <laughs> wall. I gotta go fucking help this lady check out. I don't know. I got anything but this. That's why they go to Brandon. Yeah, they don't and brand- dude, they love <laughs> yeah. me every time. Like it was so bad. They're like, damn, man, you clean every fucking time. Somebody like that's because he's so damn good. I'm like, I'm gonna start. To stop being good, then <laughs> like what the fuck? They just yeah, they, you just they just every time. wall with shit on. <laughs> hey, I'm finna do a revenge shit. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, guys. If something Better happened, that's not me. Do. Those stupid to the level. Hell, no, I never <laughs> stooped to that level. If you're ever in a I public couldn't. restroom smearing shit on the wall, dude, you made a bad decision. Yeah, that was somewhere along the line. Yeah, I mean, you're crazy. You're insane. If yeah. you if you if you are touching shit, unless you're trying to get out of a drug case or a murder case, if you're touching shit and smeared it on stuff. You're clinically insane because you know they're gonna do that. Try to get out of shit. Yeah. How does that help you to get out? Because they say they're crazy. So you uh, kill somebody. Now you want to smear shit, act like you eating it, and all that shit. And then uh, uh, oh, he's crazy. Now the nigga trying to get off for that thirty years. But uh, but if you like just a regular, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about this. Like, let's say you were like drunk and you hit a pregnant lady, uh-huh. killed her. It's like try to plead insanity. You go out and kill another pregnant lady. It's like, see, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Like only only an insane person would do the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, but they gotta keep them motherfuckers locked yeah. up. Those are the ones I'm scared of. The real crazy people. Oh hell. Oh yeah, yeah. I, dude. Cr- the, I love crazy, like genuinely crazy people, mm-hmm. terrifying. But I love watching them, dude. Like on TV, right? 
No, I've met some crazy ass people no. in real life. Like this person is not okay. Uh huh. Like they, it's not all they don't got it going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But in an aggressive way. Aggressive way, yeah. Like I don't like know like when you that. scared, you be like, okay, he might. Or mm-hmm. she might fuck Where they kill just don't somebody. fuck with anybody. Yeah. Like, even if you're cool with them, they might still just kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. like that. That's not fun. Yeah, yeah. Nobody likes to feel insecure in their relationship. Uh, yeah. You uh, know that dude that, uh... Brandon was talking about. He uh, what are you trying to say? Oh, I was just telling you 50-minute mark. Oh, okay, okay. But, uh... Okay. Did you guys see about the dude that beat the fuck out of his fucking teacher for taking his Nintendo Switch? He oh, was like yeah. six foot eight, yeah, ran yeah, up, yeah. knocked her ass out. He was autistic like, or something, Ooh, right? Oh man, it was fucked up. He beat the shit now. He that how was old was he? Like he, sixteen, bro. He but he looked like he was thirty. Bro. And even when she was knocked out, he was still. Yeah, yeah. It was it was rough, rough to watch that. You got a lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, man. I don't give a fuck. He might be out there trying to say he autistic. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, Lock man, that nigga up for a minute. That yeah, I, you got to lock him up. I, you got to do something with him. Put him in a in, mental institution or something. You can't be beating people. Somebody, like uh, you beat somebody while they're unconscious. That's a sign mm-hmm. of, uh, you know what I'm saying, psychopath. Yeah, you can't mm-hmm. beat like if they because you you can't beat somebody when they look dead. That's a crazy for what I say, yeah. Ross. No, no, uh, no. I just <laughs> I'm imagining it. It's like <laughs> they're like, yeah, he beat the fuck out of that lady, that defenseless woman, yeah. and continued to hit her while she's unconscious. It's because he doesn't pick up on social cues. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about, dude? It's that's not like a like somebody going unconscious. He didn't know to stop. Yeah. You know? It's like, mm, well, you shouldn't have started. That's not really the main issue yeah, here, yeah. but. Yeah. You know, they try to use that shit. <laughs> yep. That's why whenever people be saying, like, whenever they, like, if if this person murders somebody, oh, but he's he's insane. Yeah, this insane ass need to don't be around people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This doesn't get, that's not a reason for you to get out earlier just because you're mentally unstable. That's a, that's actually a reason to stay in longer. Hell yeah. yeah. The person who killed somebody and then they were like, oh, I changed my ways. And, I, and then they be lying, too. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have that person out in the street. Then I would uh, just somebody who like oh, I just killed him because Sling Blade. You ever seen Sling Blade? <laughs> I hit him with the side look like a natter. This nigga need to be locked up. Loved him. Loved the movie. Yeah, but he need to be locked up. He of just course. ready to kill somebody. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? At yeah. least like help him find Jesus or something. That's, That's a well, good idea. Jesus, Allah, uh, <laughs> Some, Buddha, something. something dude. Find the uh, was it Zenu? <laughs> <Zinu? Ooh. laughs> Zenu. Find one of them motherfuckers, yeah. but goddamn, don't kill. Them people scare me the most. Me too. When I was in high school, we had Columbine had happened like in 1999. I was in high school like in 2002, I think was my first year. And uh, that's when I was born. I was born a year later. <laughs> yeah, 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 young motherfuckers. But when that shit was, I was always scared. I was like, be nice to these motherfucking uh, the weird guys. Yeah, got to be nice yeah. to them. And yeah. D-Lo wasn't. <laughs> D Lo, what, what, you know, he'll, he'll fuck with D Lo's on the hit list for D- sure. Oh, he was definitely, oh, he was definitely on some hit list. Yeah. For sure. L- luckily, a lot of these people done died already. Cause they, <laughs> Damn. Some poor <laughs> life decisions. <laughs> I'm just playing. I, not luckily. But, uh, when, I'm ca- <laughs> when I'm called a bomb threat in, you ever had that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hell bomb yeah. threat. We had a guy that they wouldn't let him, they made him start wearing a clear backpack. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You, I remember that joke. About and that. I was just like, I don't. He still has his car, like, in the parking lot. Y'all don't, we don't have metal detectors. You just open up the doors for 30 minutes. Like, we, they could have came in and killed everybody in there, dude. Damn. That we, our school could have got shot up so easily. I don't know if they changed it now. But, I mean, we, I mean, we grew up with school shootings. Yeah. Dude. Sandy Hook, like, mm-hmm. that happened when I was in elementary school. I didn't give for a fuck real? back then, yeah. Damn. Well, yeah, because, I mean, it's just such a crazy thing to... I mean, you have to be really, really. In this, in the South, we're fine. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, we have God. Yeah, I was going to. Nothing like that. And y'all teachers happen. probably got a gun in their drawer. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I know a lot of them now would be like, I'm ready to fuck some shit up. Yeah, uh, yeah. They were Especially y'all. It. They were fretting us, man. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, they used to threaten us sometimes. Like, one dude, he's like, I'll pull up at y'all's house and whoop your ass with my cane. Bitch, don't play with me. And then he called me a dumbass in front of everybody straight after he did it. He's like, that's, and Brandon, you, with that dumbass response, that's why you got a big ass head and small brain. I was like, come on, man. You can't be doing what that. What grade were you in when this happened? Freshman in high school. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I had a teacher like that. Big game, James. Big game. And he hated when you made big game. He, he had a, he had like he had one tooth. He, he had a bald head, and he 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 was uh he was like real tall, but he had like a fucked up knee. So he walked with like this shake shit. And every time he come by, I'd be like big game. Who said that? 
Who said that? <laughs> and he he got so mad at me one time. I didn't even do nothing to this punk ass motherfucker. But uh, somebody threw something at him, and I laughed. Of course, I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. Because he, as soon as Obviously. you throw something, who did that? You know, he, he it's funny. And so uh, so I laughed. He said he said he said, "Come here, motherfucker." I was like, "What?" I was like, "God damn." We had lunch. You know what I'm saying? So we had to walk back up to we ended lunch. We had to walk back up to our class. I'm going to a class right next to his. So I'm just walking there. He he hounded me like he 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 next to me. I'm with my girl too. I'm trying to be like I'm like, oh man. He like he like your dick in the booty ass, your mama, your daddy, all what? y'all just oh, fucking dick in the booty no. like that in front of everybody. Like the whole school That's was crazy, following dude. us, dog. The whole school was like, fuck. And so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Coach White, you better get your ass up out my face, man. Trying to talk like that, trying to act a little hard. And then uh, he was like, he, he was he's like, no, you laugh at all these white motherfuckers. There's only two black teachers. You want to laugh at these white motherfuckers? I'm like, it was Gus who threw the shit at you. He black, man. <laughs> you know what the fuck you talk about? A black but, dude named Gus. I don't G- believe it, dude. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's my nigga gut. But, uh, yeah. So then, so we walk up to the thing, and he's still, and, I'm, and at this point, I'm talking shit. But I'm like, fuck you, you old ass motherfucker, you, you uh, crackhead bitch. Because he used to do come. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you crackhead bitch. And he hit my books out of my hand, pushed me, and I went to go like dive at him. And Mr. Grip, or uh, a Spanish teacher, grabbed me back. He's like, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I got suspended. Hell, I got spent during I was a, I was a good wrestler like I went to college for wrestling I got mm-hmm. spent during like a big wrestling meet that I tried to appeal it they was like no this motherfucker ain't getting nothing that's bullshit that dude. is bullshit man. oh he used to he tried to hit me with you know he do, doing the stop sign thing you know where they uh the school teachers sometimes do the stop sign and he, he he turned it long ways and swung it at me oh hell what no. yes. Like he used to, he, I'm telling you, we then you know my retaliation. I don't go tell shit. No, 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 motherfucker. We're going to your house. He had a Cadillac. We wrapped that bitch with Saran wrap. Threw all the trash from his dumpster right there on it. Went and knocked on his door and left. Damn. And oh, we covered it in toilet paper. Like we fucked it. Like we didn't. We didn't do no damage to the car. But he had to do a lot of shit to get in that motherfucker. Yeah. And I know y'all motherfuckers was at my house. <laughs> but he probably thought it was Gus because Gus used to fuck with us. Dude, that's how I found out. One of the reasons would. That's some. Ah, that's how I found out I was a little bit autistic with a teacher fucking with me, man. Because in second grade I was in art class and I said, "Hey, is this straight? Like, is this a good line or something?" And she said, "No, nah, man," and pushed me on the ground. And then like I was so shocked that my mom got her fired the next day. And we would tell like folk tales about her and shit. So you got her fired? That's good shit. She Hell yeah, we got her ass fired. She pushed me to the ground. I'm in first grade. <laughs> you can't push like kids six years old. That's you ain't supposed up. to. Hell no. I'm surprised you <laughs> get arrested. To. <laughs> Shit, man. What bullshit. the fuck kind of schools were y'all going to, man? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Chapman. Oh, okay. I don't Chapman. know. But Centralia High School, baby. Centralia High School. They had it all. We had, uh, But we didn't have no, this is what the thing was. We didn't have no teachers fucking students, guy or girls. Hmm. I'm pretty mad about the because we had a couple of fine that, teachers. Dude. Y'all had that, right? We had that. These I was close. Weren't they weren't putting out back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, but it's it's only cool when it's a female teacher, male student. We yeah. had the opposite. So it was like male teacher, female student. So uh-huh. it just wasn't even cool to talk yeah. about. It's just like, that's the weirdest double standard. But I mean, like, it just it's just like, ew, that's kind of gross. Bro. Whenever I was in high school, we had a fucking dude. It was like when the war or 2000. Yeah, so the war had just was popping off. And this girl in my grade, and we were sophomores, had her military boyfriend come talk to us about the war in class. And now at the time, you didn't think he'd be like, oh, shit, that's cool. She's <laughs> she's like going out with this army guy. Looking back now, I'm like, she was 16 max. <laughs> She was 16. She's 24. She the teachers was like, oh, like, teachers loved them and shit. And back then, they didn't give a fuck. It's back when we had patriotism. Dude. You could do <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. He's fighting for our country. We had a common it. enemy. People that look like Dom. Damn. <laughs> Times were different. No, we, had a, we had like some crazy like redneck teachers when I was in middle school because we were kind of out in the country. But we had this one dude, Mr. Shatterfield, my geographer geography teacher he had one leg and one fake leg he got it ripped off by a tractor when he was like a teenager oh, shit. but at the pep rallies he would take it off and like throw it like swing it around that's and throw tight. it into the crowd and people like pass it around that's and we're in middle school kind of weird but <laughs> that's really know, cool man no, nobody and our, all our sports teams suck so it wasn't oh, like yeah, it was like a big celebration team. he just kind of did it to do it but uh he'd also like throw it at people in class if they went to sleep uh-huh he like throw the fucking prosthetic <laughs> leg i'm like dude isn't that thing like ten thousand? that's like half your yearly salary right mm-hmm. <laughs> hell yeah 
he's right about Buckhorn, man. That rustling. Huntsville forever. Gang, gang. I didn't yeah. even go to Buckhorn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, Sparkman! Dude, you went to Sparkman. My dude. bad. I'm sorry. Just, I, I I don't know why I thought you went to Buckhorn for a split second. I just looked. I at know it. you like, do. My bad. And Sparkman. Like a, like a lot of you people out there, I don't know what any of this shit means. Sparkman uh, was good though. They had a pretty good wrestling team. Fuck them. <laughs> Clip of the week. It's you ready? Bit. Watch some clips, uh, Dom. Let's watch some clips, man. I'm smoke a cigarette. What we doing? All right. Go. What's going on, guys? William was up here talking about the wrong hole. There's no such thing as a wrong hole, William. Really. <laughs> there are only cowards. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Eight kids, dude. Sounds like you were using the wrong hole, man. <laughs> Jesus. That's a great job. Yeah. Fuck them kids. You guys excited for the holidays? I know some of the big ones just passed, but a really big one's coming up here. Independence Day, the real one. January 6th, man. I'm hyped. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the day this nation was truly born. <laughs> They're still looking for me, though. <laughs> hey, yeah, first bit. That is up. definitely a January 6th outfit. I was <laughs> uh, that, uh... Yeah, that uh, fucking uh, I love all those jokes. The rock holes, just uh, all the yeah. took that shit's good, dude. Mm-hmm. No, I just I seen. I remember when he went up. I seen that guy before, but I didn't remember talking to him, him talking about that shit. The wrong hole. I just, I somebody told me that one time. They was like, "There's no." I think it was my dad actually. <laughs> he was like, "There's no such thing as wrong hole." And I was like, "You know what? You're right." There's only people not brave enough, dude. <laughs> that's like that. Uh, that's that that's, saying. That's, uh, I've never met your dad before. But that's right on brand for everything. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> dude! You got to meet. He's he's you. He's a you love him or you hate him mm-hmm. type of guy because he's never not gonna be himself. I'm a love him, man. Dude, he's, love, love him. he's crazy, dude. I love all people. Like that's that. the best type of people, man. Yeah, yeah. Always be yourself. Cause when you be faking shit like that, it's not yeah, good. people can see that yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Don't it, you can see right through that shit. You. Yeah, it's only one way to be is, is your goddamn self. People like it, fuck them. You, know what I'm saying? you gotta, you gotta be them. you, man. Hell yeah. yeah, I won't have it any other way. Same here. Go. I don't like whenever they don't pay me back. Whenever they said they were gonna pay me back, so one time I called a friend who didn't pay me back in time at a Dairy Queen. Uh, 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 uh. Ice cream is for the rich. Give <laughs> me a great value pudding, and I'm being nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody get up up Trisha Takanao over here. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Michelle, yo, back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's gonna get that. <laughs> All right, oh all right I picked this clip for so many reasons. Dude. First of all, <laughs> it, it was very nice in the first half because that's a good tagline for that joke. Ice cream is for the rich. People yeah. laughed at it, mm-hmm. and then. uh the uh, a fellow comedian, Men yeah. Aikens. Yeah. Love her. Love she, her. Love she's, her. A, she's cool. She's she awesome. she asked Tourette's, so mm-hmm. one of her tics, you know, she yeah. called Dom the F-slur, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> and then uh, Dom immediately mm. tries to make fun of her. And then he's like, what'd you call her? Trisha Takanawa? It's Trisha Takanawa <laughs> from the uh, Family Guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, no, I mean, it got a little bit, maybe a couple people do. Jake laughed. Yeah, yeah, right. Jake laughed. Uh, and then uh, Michelle uh, Yo. Is it Michelle Ma- Yo? Mich- I suck. Michelle Yo. Yeah. Fat. Fat. And then yeah. nobody. I'm and talking Dom's about. Like, oh, okay. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. She could call me a fat bitch, but I can't. I can't but help. nobody, like these random people, didn't remember. Didn't Doesn't know matter. That. The joke is solid. I love it. Mm-hmm. I, th- I I had it planned out. But it's out. just hilarious to me that you like throw your hands up and you're like, why is nobody laughing? That made fun of the disabled person. <laughs> what the fuck? This is fucked up. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> It's like I'm publicly shaming the person with the, with the disease. Why are you not laughing? I don't get Dude, it. This is like that Ken Pilly skit. You remember? <laughs> I mean, it was medication. funny, <laughs> but it's also even funnier that people didn't laugh. Like to me, that makes it more funny it's than definitely if people more did funny. Laugh. Like when you watch that, that <laughs> like watching it back. Right, that's my first time watching it back. Nobody laughs at all. And you're like, oh, you know what? <laughs> what's going on, guys? We're comedians, dude. She's a comedian. <laughs> She called me fat, and it's like, yeah, well, she couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> she also told me I was smoking a cigarette. She was like, she was like, uh, before before this show, and she was like, uh, 
those smokes, you're going to die at a berry grave or some shit like yeah. that. I was like, yeah, thanks. Dom considers that a personal attack. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me to fucking stop smoking. I try. Yeah. Dom's been quitting smoking for the past six months. Yeah. Okay. He's, <laughs> he's on the right track. Yeah, he'll be there one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was, that was a good night, though. That's a, let's see, that's the biker bar we're yeah. talking about. Daniel uh, Castillo, uh, new open mic. At Hell Shag yeah. Nasties. That was so funny, though. I was like, are we going to have to not have a mic? <laughs> are we just going to have to scream? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that would have been funny. Yeah, because it was like a musical act that went on before the comedy, like the open mic, and there was a miscommunication. We thought we were going to get to keep the mic, but we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so we had an emergency send. Well, shout Mike, out Jonathan. And, and so the whole know. PA system. Yeah. But did you notice? He stayed. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, like, he was like, I'm taking my shit. But I'm gonna stay for the show. For like the Damn, first half. That's crazy, man. <laughs> that but was. I feel crazy. though. You're like, yeah, I understand. Cause they can fuck up your shit. You never know. Yeah, but Alex said that uh, he told Daniel that uh, he can use his um, he can use his shit for the Tuesdays. Yeah. Because he doesn't have one going. You notice yeah. the mic didn't fuck up at Fast and Hemi's last no, week. No, it did not. It didn't do that screeching thing that it usually oh, does. Not really. I wasn't there last week. Or are you talking about yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. Oh, I love it. Hell yeah, dude. Man. Huntsville Comedy, we're on the come Yeah, up, yeah. Man. No more technical difficulty. <laughs> Hell yeah. We just get rid of the equipment entirely. <laughs> we just yell at you. <laughs> also, shout out to Fat Sammy's with that wrestling shit, man. Perfect shit. You should oh, do yeah. that every Wednesday, I feel like. I loved it. WrestleMania. That's the, the, that's the perfect you. business model. To attract people on the spectrum, dude. Hell it's because yeah. when they walk in and they see WWE, they're not leaving. Dude. Look at it's, this shit. They will stand there and buy drinks for four hours watching fucking Hulk Hogan slam Andre the Giant. <laughs> and it was hilarious because during Charlie's set, me and Sci-Fi were dying because like Hulk Hogan was on the screen. He wasn't even wrestling nobody. He was standing in the middle of the ring just flexing Oh yeah. through Charlie's whole set. <laughs> like Charlie got the light. <laughs> like seven minutes and just Hulk Hogan standing in the ring flexing. People are losing their damn minds, dude. He walked to the ring with a big ass American flag. I think it was after he slammed Andre the Giant. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And he was just flexing. Everybody was hyped. They'd never seen anything like that before. That was before CGI. <laughs> you know, so like, mm-hmm. you like, seen the one where at the end he pulled up with the canes and shit all fucked up with Andre? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, damn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With I the seen snake that. incident. Yeah, when they were finna squish the snake again. <laughs> Thank God they didn't. Remember that scene, 1990, 1989? Something around that. Brad is autistic as fuck. Pokey yes, Davis for WWE, <laughs> man. Wish I could do this with math, but nah, just WWE. <laughs> you don't get a, you don't get a scholarship for that. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do like uh he spent he he was in the army, but he was clearly something was uh he had a mental disability. I don't know what it was. Probably autistic, but he was like hard on the spectrum, not like Jake and uh, severe. Yeah, severe. And uh, he loved a couple things. He loved feet. So he is like Jake. Jake, yep. <laughs> and too. wrestling and strip clubs. He loved these three things, and he spent all his money on that. So, so like he's feet? met every wrestler in the world. He's been to every like event, and if the strippers were like, whenever he would come in. They would push everybody. The strippers would push everybody out the way. Go right to Rusty, and fuck it. His name was Rusty. Rusty, Hell Rusty yeah, Rutherford. <laughs> yeah, my nigga Rusty. I Do like, you still talk to him? And yeah, stuff? Said, oh, dude, we I'm, should hang out one day, man. <laughs> like we're wrestling and shit. Well, how he talks? He's like, he's like, he like, okay. So we just talked about uh, our clips, right? Literally, it would be like ten minutes. He'd be like, "Hey, uh, JJ, you remember the time we were sitting here and we watched clips of us doing stand up?" And he'd be like, yeah, Rusty, it yeah, happened man. 10 minutes ago. He's like, that's cool. <laughs> that, dude, that was like Dante last night. <laughs> he really oh came up to God. me before the open mic. He was like, JJ, you know, I'm actually not super high or super drunk this time. I was like, oh, good, man. And he was like, I'm going to quit smoking so much. And I'm like, good for you, man. You, you're doing good. Uh-huh. You know, you're right, your mind's on the right track, dude. Damn. Five minutes later, he comes up to me. And he's like, JJ, you remember earlier today when I told you I wasn't high as fuck? Well, we just went outside and hit the pin, and now I'm high yeah. as fuck. And I'm like, oh, okay. You mean You're like welcome. five minutes ago, earlier today? <laughs> five minutes ago when we saw each other for the first time today. <laughs> yeah. I was holding mine in like SpongeBob with a spatula. He just ran over to me like, I need that. I'm like, all right, there you go, buddy. <laughs> man, what happened with The Rock? Hell yeah, man. Because he's a wrestling fan, too. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, so he on, on his Instagram, he was like, "The Rock is back." Mm. Oh, for yeah, yeah. He Hell was yeah. About that shit. Did he, did he talk about that on Flashpoint, dude? Flat, oh, I Flashpoint. And I didn't get a notification. Uh, uh, yeah, had, I didn't. I don't. I didn't get a notification. He had a new one up. Flashpoint. Uh, Dante Huff's mm-hmm. podcast. You're Hell in for a yeah. treat. We should have Dante on. I was like, we had Charlie on. We should, dude. That's right. I would should. love that. Right. I would love that. I think more than you guys anything, would dude. love it oh, yeah, more than would. anything too. Because we've been talking about it, you know. Give a little heads about Dante. We need Dante. to get him you to could... send in a clip. <sighs> oh, yes. And yeah. I know which one I want. I know which, which one. I know which one you want. Well, let's see. Which one do you want? Well, I think I we have to have your ass is never 100% Come on, man. clean. It has to be that. Jamaican misfortune cookie. That's what Come I was making. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's never a make good joke. I love it. I, 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 I love, love, I love joke, both man. of them. Mm. I even start. I'm starting to. The queef is growing on me. But I like it the way he told it the first time when he was like, Queef. I just learned this new word. Queef. <laughs> hey, dude, he might say the same premises, but he never says the same joke. No. Yeah. Exactly the same. Oh, no, no, no. His material is constantly evolving. Mm-hmm. I mean. <laughs> is Dante on the show? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No. I'm not sure. I don't know who the fifth person is. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, that's a good fucking Yeah, because question. I know it's, it's us only three. Five? It's us three, Jake, and then one more person. Okay. I know uh, Jonathan Silver, but. Yeah. But he's the, he's the veteran comic. I don't know who the other one is because I asked Charlie. He said no. Um, who else is new? Maybe. Well, I guess Daniel wouldn't count because he was doing it before he got here. But he, I think that was out before Kim would know who he is. Sh- shout Dang. out Shenanigans. Hell yeah. yeah shout out Shenanigans. Thank shout you. out. Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm I have no sure. fucking clue. I'm not sure about right, we'll get some, we'll get some clips for you guys. We'll pr- we'll promote it on uh on everything we got. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, thanks and thanks guys for supporting us. Yeah, you guys have been you great. So much. Hell yeah. Hopefully we see, keep on getting better and uh yeah, these yeah. episodes start uh we got some skits that I think is <laughs> are going oh, to man. fucking blow your guys' mind. Like they're going to be you know, if you're watching our skits, you're not watching it for, you know, perfect yeah, it, yeah, it's gonna be funny in the way that we're funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think I think it's gonna be dude, great. Saturday Night Live doesn't have <laughs> shit on Clown <laughs> College kids, dude. Yeah. It's like you ever seen Dolomite is my name, kind of like that. Funny as fuck, we putting it together. Bro. Yeah, we're exactly. That shit. Like the original Dolomite, like yeah, we going that's hard, fun. bro. Not, yeah. not like I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. You said you getting hard. No, I mean <laughs> we 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 getting we getting it pumped up. There Good for go. you, Brandon. That sounds better. <laughs> Cue the applause. Not what? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We got, we got to limit Brandon to uh, three uh, three soundboards an uh, uh, episode. <laughs> he was going crazy at the beginning. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I, just... <laughs> I love how he played the first ever one for himself. Yeah. <laughs> I had Perfect. to get that one in there. It, I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, guys. I see another solo episode. Hell yeah, man! Hope you like it. Thanks for all the support. Thank you. Sharing it, liking, commenting, clips, and everything. Hell yeah! Means a lot. Oh yeah, and on our channel, we're gonna start cutting up clips like the skits, and then uh, different things that were good in uh, each episode. It's gonna take me a minute, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna start getting all that out. Just have like little five minute clips so you can go in there and watch that. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, some new graphics. Oh, we're on Facebook now. Go oh, like yeah, us Facebook. on Facebook. Yeah, Shout out yeah. Blake. Shout out Blake, unsung hero. Blake <laughs> and Jack, uh, Jack, unsung heroes of uh, Clown College Comedy. Dude, you guys don't understand. Not yeah. all heroes wear capes. Yeah, dude. No. they don't. They man. need an applause right here. Man. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's yeah. an applause. Thank all right, you, guys. Man. See y'all. We'll right. see you. See ya. Until next time. Hey. Yay.